Hey guys, it's Justin back with Engineer's Perspective. And if you've ever packed way too much EDC gear that you know there's not a chance in hell you're actually gonna carry most of it, then hit that like button and leave a comment to tell us about it. Because today, I need your help to do just the same thing. So I've got, um, took a couple days off of work to go have a dinner with friends one night, a wedding another night, and then a baby shower the next day. Uh, and uh, I'm trying to decide on what kind of EDC stuff I want to bring. I mean, there's really three stages. There's just kind of the out and about stage. There's dinner, there's wedding, and there's baby shower. So really that's four, I suppose. And so I'm just, because this is fun. This is fun for me, and I think it's fun for you too. Uh, to kind of obsess over, okay, what am I going to do? Uh, what am I going to bring? What am I going to carry? So I was just going to take you along for that journey here. Um, and so I kind of am like, all right, what are my locking blades that I like to bring? Normally the K390 Enduro is in here, but it's in my bedroom and my wife is sleeping, so it's going to stay there. Um, and I've kind of got my slip joint knives slash tools and then I've got my plier based tools over here. And then I'm going to be bringing the, the rambler on the keychain. So let's start out over here um, with the locking blades because it's the easiest. Um, I do bring the Mannix a lot just for, this is probably my one of my favorite knives. I mean, it's just so reliable um, for a lot of vacation stuff because it's replaceable. I mean, it, it just is. It's expensive, but it's replaceable. Um, but I'm not going to bring it today just because it's kind of big and it's not going to be that much just kind of day-to-day stuff. So now we're down to these two smaller guys. I've got the Native 5 uh, Salt here in LC200N and my Bug Out and S30V. Um, I go back between these two. I certainly like the Native more, um, but I think the Bug Out is a great knife. And uh, I might end up bringing both of them, but I'm going to push the native out because of the lower profile color on the bug out so if it is sticking out then that's going to be my choice once again very replaceable is a very important part of that light and thin and kind of all pro so there's that got the lock and knife selected so we only chose one easy enough this one's pretty hard um the slip joints so let's let's talk about a few that i used to almost always bring this one right here is just a Victorinox Spartan. Um, every wedding I've ever been in, three things always end up happening. I always end up opening a bottle of wine. Let me, I'll backtrack. Any wedding I've ever been close to the wedding party, which I am now, or in the wedding party, I've always had to open a bottle of wine. Um, so corkscrew has been super useful. I always liked having <clears throat> the multiple blades on it because I'd end up dulling one on a plate or you give it to somebody because they need to use it for something, be it, I don't know, cutting strings off their clothes or something doesn't fit right, whatever have you. So I always liked having my kind of dull sharp blade in one package right there. And it's nice when you can give somebody just a teeny little blade instead of the big one. And then just the other tools are always useful. Um, so this came to a handful of weddings right out the gate, but I don't actually bring it anymore because it doesn't have scissors, uh, which the Rambler does cover, making me double think this. I mean, it's a really dashing looking knife, that's for sure. I just, I just like my other options better. So this was kind of an OG, but it's kind of on the way out. Another OG is my Red Cadet. I don't bring it anymore because it's my only version that has that file on it. So instead I always bring the new version with that file. And so that one's gonna come. I love having just a ultra thin light option there. So Cadet, you're in. <laughs> Down to this pile. Here's uh, my GEC uh, Easy Pocket Congress. I don't know what number it is, but it's ultra thin, ultra cool. Got that Warren Cliff blade, and then it's got the little skinning blade, I guess. Freaking love this knife. It's so thin and light and just cool with that red jig bone. 
um, a lot of times these days when I'm like at the wedding, like that's the only knife I've got in my pocket. If not, you know, the this is a tool. So this will probably be my wedding day knife. Well, we'll come back to that. Okay, down to these three. So Pioneer versus Pioneer X. For me, the Pioneer's not bringing anything to the table in this scenario that I'm not gonna get out of the cadet. So I'm gonna toss that out. Pioneer X and the ever beloved um, uh, Compact. I mean, I know for a fact I am going to miss these scale tools for some reason. And once again, that corkscrew. This is probably very, may very well likely be, end up being also in my pocket at and around a wedding. I'm not gonna leave the Pioneer X at home because I just love it too much. It just hurts, you know? So it's coming to. We get to decide in the last minute when we're at the wedding. All right. <clears throat> now over to the next two critical components is uh, pliers and wire cutting. I always end up having to trim off somebody's dangly bracelet or their necklace or their necklace broke, you know, all the wedding jewelry that gets handed out. So you always need a way to cut wire and to bend it. And so on that note, I have been rocking the compact uh, Knipex XS Cobras for months now, almost exclusively. Not 100%, but damn close. This is not for the wedding, but this is for the drive there. That and the compact, those two go together. So that's coming. Other plier options. So I have done this guy before, the Leatherman style PS, and it did work. It's just not ideal. I just don't really like using it as my go-to, but this does work. So not a bad solution, but I'm gonna toss it out just because I've already got a keychain tool that's got everything but the pliers and wire cutters. I'd rather have something bigger. Okay. Um, something that would be common for me is the Charge G10 Earth, but I know that when I'm eating dinner, when I'm at the wedding, I'm not gonna be belt carrying this thing. I probably would at the baby shower, but I'm not going to just because I'm not gonna use it those other days. So that's out. Back to here. So here's, I mean, a valid question. I mean, it's just like, if you've got all these Swiss Army knives, why don't you just bring the mechanic and let the scissors be taken care of by the Rambler? Um, and I have done that before. But once again, no corkscrew. It's not a huge deal. I mean, this is a nice package. I mean, you can... I mean, it's a teeny tiny little wire cutter in there, but it'll cut those bracelets for sure. You know, the jewelry. And you can nibble your way through some bigger things. I mean, that's certainly a nice one and done deal. It is pretty thick, that's for sure. Just do I see this? replacing these and the answer is not really so I'm gonna toss it out all right now we're down to the last two the Skeletool and the Victoradox a lot of times the Leatherman Free would be included in this um, and where the Leatherman Free could come have a spot in this conversation the P2 would be if I was trying to find a middle ground of something that has kind of a dedicated knife because I want it to have the one-handed access, but I want it to be more capable than the Skeletool. Um, but I, I'm saying I wouldn't choose this because it's not one-handed. I don't think I'm gonna sweat that. Um, I don't really care in this scenario. And so for me, the one-handedness isn't a huge deal. The Victorinox is very compelling just because like as a person that likes to be prepared and just carry crap, like when you don't have the tools, when the thing comes up that you could use it for and you don't have it, it's just like destruction. You're just like, are you serious? Like it just crushes your soul. Like I can't believe that I would normally have this stuff most days and then today I don't because whatever, you know. So that's what's making me lean towards a more capable multi-tool. And gosh, this is a nice freaking package. 
But I mean, between having the Skeletool and also say like the Compact or one of these other ones, I mean, you're probably in pretty good shape. I'll probably just bring both. So there you go. Look at how, how lean we are. We whittled it down to, we'll call it two knives, three Victoradoxes, and uh, three sets of pliers. There we go. So we worked our way through. So how do I see this shaking out? Uh, I'm going to get dressed after this. I'm going to put the compact and uh, the Knipex and those keys in my left pocket. I'm probably actually going to bring the native. That's going to go into my right pocket. That's probably what I'm going to carry today. On this front, um, I'll probably carry this tonight. So I have to change clothes anyways, right? So if I'm changing, what, about, what does it matter if I'm changing knives? <laughs> um, well, yeah, we'll have the, the bug out tonight. Not you. Um, I'm deciding in between the compact and Knipex in the other pocket, which is probably what will end up happening. Or the Pioneer X, because that just sounds tantalizing. Probably gonna actually do the Pioneer X, so that's gonna be for tonight. What, how will the wedding shape up? At the last minute, I'll probably end up deciding between the Cadet and the GEC. Uh, by the way, it's not obvious this exact knife, but um, Abraham Lincoln, when he was shot at Ford's Theater, this was the pattern of knife that he had. I think it had more layers than that, but kind of cool. Really nice little knife, especially how it kind of forms to your leg. Just a great, great little knife. Uh, anyway, so I'll probably end up choosing between one of those two for the wedding. And then whichever one of these is looking better also at the wedding. Like, am I going to stick it in my back pocket? I'm probably not going to have a suit pocket. I've done that before. I'm certainly having reservations about, about these at the wedding proper. I mean, I could just drop it down into my pocket. I'd be more inclined to do that with like the Juice CS4, which I do have. Or, I mean, shit, if I take off the, I mean, I'll have my keys. So we'd look something like this, you know, it'd be that in that pocket, that in the other one. It's just that one time when I wasn't close to the wedding party, I brought this and I regretted it. And so I'm just like trying not to relive that. <laughs> hmm. I just need my wire cutting. Man, I wish there was wire cutters at the on the Knipex. I mean, that this is a nicer package if you're just going to slip it into your pocket. What am I losing out on? Uh, it's probably going to be that. <clears throat> that for the wedding night. I'm just going to stick that in my left pocket there. I have uh, the original Leatherman PST. That's a sweet pocket carry, and I have done that before also. Drop that right down into my pocket. Oh, I'll think about that one, but I think that's probably will end up when the baby shower will be back to, you know, this, this combination or these guys or something like that. So there you go. <clears throat> Thank you for coming on my journey to woefully overpack for what is basically three days of events and two days of travel are included in those three days. So yeah, but it's fun and we like it and heck yeah. So that's all I've got for you today. Have a good one. Bye.